Dr. YouTube Tucker here. Check out the Vice Show, all right? But uh, check this out. When it comes to making a living, some folks go to work, others rely on government help. But what you might not know is that sometimes working hard doesn't really pay off. Well, here's the proof. A recent study found that several states actually pay welfare recipients better than people who work entry-level jobs. Fox 17's Michaela Lewis is here now to explain. Scott and Stacey, welfare recipients in Tennessee typically are not making more money than minimum wage jobs. But for more than half of the United States, it's a different story. We take a closer look at the study's disturbing trends. It's frustrating because your work is trying to make an honest living, and people who don't work, they're getting paid more than you. Ashley Hunter is starting a new job with the help of the local career center after being laid off. They help you, they can tell you, they give you the resources that you need as far as your sites online. Hunter is getting back in the workforce, but in states like California, others are making a living without working. The Cato Institute's The Work Versus Welfare Trade-Off 2013 study found If you took a mother with two children who received all seven of the most common benefits, she potentially could have benefits worth more than what she could earn in a minimum wage job. Well, yeah, that's states. always. According to Michael Tanner with the Cato Institute, in 13 states, welfare pays more than $15 an hour. Each state is different, but on an average, minimum wage pays about $7.25 an hour. Plus, Tanner says welfare recipients get multiple benefits provided through overlapping programs. We tend to think of welfare as a single program, but in reality, the federal government has 126 separate anti-poverty programs, 72 of which give either cash or benefits directly to individuals. Tanner says more than half of Tennessee welfare recipients work the nationwide, only 42% work. Welfare generous uh, benefits have simply become too generous in too many states, and we need to put a cap on them. We need to look seriously at enforcing the work requirements to ensure that people on welfare do move into work. If I gotta work, everybody else can have to work too. According to the Cato Institute study, in Tennessee, the average monthly welfare payment is about $180 versus other states, like Kansas, where it's more than $400. Oh, you can't. You can't. Oh, yeah. Anyway, that's that, guys.